Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. I don't think we can talk to our friends here at all yet. This is an absurd amount of stuff to just bring down here, though. Like, that's a lot to carry. Although, I guess they have them all in, like, the easy boxes, so they probably just carried those down. They've already unpacked a little bit, though. That's nice. Alright, Sean. I like how they... Oh, they wheeled them down. Because they have ramps up. That makes sense. Well, alright. Big cable. Cables. Couple of generators there. Alright. Right. Look around Monte Regione for circuit boxes. Rebecca's little dude asked they'll reroute small amounts of electricity to the power line underneath the villa. Don't ask me how they work. If I understood that, I wouldn't be the fella hiding the van. Okie dokie, then. They show up as gold. Gotcha. Game? Okay. Can I... Oh. I was pressing the wrong button. You ever have that where your fingers are not on WASD, but like one off? I was on ESDF. <laughs> okay. Well, can run around with Eagle Vision on now. And that'll help us get a little bit better power, a little bit better vision. Of course, these circuit breakers are like all over the villa. Not just on the main building. But like down here. And there's no real good way to see them. You just gotta sort of catch them. Although there are these power lines that you can follow. So that helps. Oops. Yeah, I don't know how that happens. I'm sure an electrical engineer would look at that and be like, no, 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 no. That's not, not how any of this works. Oh, there's another one just right out here. Okay. Makes it easy. Look at how many cars there are. I kind of love the modern day look. Like, it, it, it feels like there are people who live here. Oh, there's the last one. Where is everyone? That's the real question. Because clearly the villa has people living in it. And in the middle of the night, these people break into the old estate, which it seems like that's the only part that's been abandoned. And set up shop? Mm. I'm back. Just in time. The sun's rising. Yes, it's booted. We're good to go. Did you miss me? No? Anyone? Hello? Am I speaking out loud? Hello? Workaholics. Let's get started. Alright, so I think now we can start talking to everybody. Yeah. Do you have any clue about those numbers under the drawing? 1419, 1420, 1421. Maybe something to do with the Hundred Years' War. Or, or wait, in 1419, Pope Martin V arrived in Florence, right? He, he left for Rome in 1420, and that was the same year Brunelleschi began building the Duomo. And in 1421... Um, in 1421... Yeah, I'll have to do some more research, I think. Do you have anything else to say, Sean? So, what do you think of Monteregioni? This is not Monte Regioni. Monte Regioni existed in the Renaissance. Ask me how the town was in 1554 when it was seized by Florence, and I'll tell you. Huh. I figured you'd like it nowadays. Seems not to have changed much. Exactly. History is the study of change. Change is life. When things become static, it means they're dead. Not a bad way to look at history in general. It's a good. I think that's a good view for a historian to have. Is he right now? Okay, nothing else from him. What are we gonna do about Abstergo? Wait it out. 
As soon as we find the Apple, I get in contact with our other teams in Europe, but as far as Italy goes, we're on our own. It'd be nice to have some help from above. Our top assassins are busy gathering info about the Templar satellite launch. We've pinpointed several possible facilities in the US, China, and Russia, but there are no clear leads yet. Oh, that's right, they're launching a- we're trying to launch a satellite. We have a bunch of, like, bagged food and water. Oh, that's a nice little... detail. What are the other teams doing? Combating Abstergo's search for pieces of Eden. As far as I know, Abstergo has no clue about the temples and Ezio's apple. We might actually be ahead for once. Hmm. I don't know about that. I'm kind of busy here. Okay, no more talking to her. What about Re Rebecca? Before we jump into the uh, seat. I've been busy patching new systems into Baby here. She's only gonna get better. Is Desmond gonna be able to relive memories this time? Matter of fact, he will. Such an antagonistic view between the two, or at least just from Sean. Always a tech geek. Nah, I was into sports, but then I broke my leg and started playing with computers. Who knew the coding could be just as exhilarating as strapping on a board and dropping out of a helicopter? Just FYI, you might want to get your adrenal glands checked. You know, because that, that is not normal. Or maybe you're just stick up your butt, Sean. Such an annoying asshole. Anything else? Oh, maybe. Oh well. Gotta stay with the code. Okay. I think we're all done talking to our people. Hello? Game? Can I get into the animus? There we go. That was weird. Sanctuary! Sanctuary! <laughs> I don't even remember what that's from right now. As you may have oh. noticed in the van, I've made some improvements to the Animus, and I've also patched in a new VR training program. Here you can show off all those flashy moves you picked up from your ancestors. Let me open one in the mission. No, 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 please don't. Oh, right, there's medals and everything in this. ay 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 Come on, give me the instant kill thing. What is happening? Alright, hold on. Game, you were supposed to be able to... Yeah, there it is. If I was better at this, I'm not. I will get there. It's been a while, but also, changing targets is... Not super easy sometimes. You can access more VR missions through the Animus desktop. As you complete training sessions, I'll add additional challenges. To okay then. The subconscious from rejecting Ezio's later memories, you're gonna have to live them in the order his genome recorded them. Highlight sequence two for me, Desmond. Do I have to? Good. Now select it, and you're gonna see the memories inside. Once you've unlocked a memory, by accessing this menu, you can relive it as many times as you want. But what if there are memories I just want to forget? Desmond, this is very important. If you need to take a break, log out of the Animus. You can leave the machine whenever you like. I'm all set to go. Don't worry. One last thing. As you raise your synchronization by executing events the way Ezio lived them, you might even discover some repressed memories. Okay, let's get started. Select the first memory. Uh-huh. God, the way it holds your hand at the very beginning. Desmond, I've been looking at those gibberish five-digit codes from the end of Subject 16's files, and I seem to have discovered a remarkable coincidence. The codes correspond perfectly with coordinates inside the Animus. I've tagged the landmarks, pinpointed by the coordinates with eye icons in the database. 
Now, odds are you won't find anything there, but, well, who knows? Calmatevi. The pain will end soon. Where have you brought me? Nowhere, Messere. A man left you here. Did he say anything? Only this. You are to meet Messer Machiavelli in front of the Mausoleo di Augusto. Let me help you get dressed. The same man who brought me here gave me these clothes? Si, Messere. or what is left of it since the Borgia came to power. And the mausoleo? Unfortunately, you cannot see it from here. How about from the top of that church? Yes, but the stairs up are closed. That should not be a problem. Vi ringrazio di tutto quello che avete fatto per me, buona donna. Addio. All right, so we need to uh, uh, talk about how this game has changed. So basically, we don't really have access to much of Ezio's stuff. We need to go to a doctor. We need to get him. And in terms of what we have, we have all of the previous upgrades. Um, some of the equipment, like we have our pistol. We don't have the double blade, things like that. Um... I will be going through this next sequence fully, and then we will move on to uh, doing the what's it called the uh, my arm. Uh, the the challenges in streams. I will also leave the animus because there are some things we can find outside of the animus. Salute. I require medicine. Uh, let me look. Someone your age cannot recover from a wound like this with medicine. Here is something to dull the pain. You will heal over time. Grazie. Four out of five doctors would suggest leeches, but they have not proven effective against such things. However, I can recommend several good colleagues around the city. Do you need anything else? Truly do you walk in the shadow if you do not come see me regularly. All right. So we got some medicine. We have one health square. Unfortunately, we can't afford medicine and we can't heal right now. But we can at least run. If you if everybody noticed, there was an extra additional little thing that we have in that we have oh, where is it? Aha. So our current objective is to get to the top of the tower. Full synchronization. This is a new thing for this game. Uh, there's basically an extra little something that we need to complete in order to have full sync to get 100%. We're going to be going for 100%. Some of them are pretty difficult because some of them involve, uh, you know, just absolutely not getting detected and things like that. Basically, as long as we stay out of combat for this one, we'll be all right. It does force you to play a little bit smarter, I guess. We are going to be avoiding the feathers. We're not doing that right now. We'll do that later on in more uh, streams. Get over here. Synchronize. This is our first look at Rome. This is going to be a long playthrough. I forgot how big Brotherhood was until I reloaded it. That a peasant is resisting arrest. We will show him how things operate under the Borgia. Machiavelli can wait. Hmm, I guess we're telling the guards. So we're not under suspicion or anything yet. We can just walk. Not a big deal. Can also blend in, of course. 
You don't want to get too far away from them. You want them to be basically within the camera view. Although it's interesting, like it's only camera view. It's not um, Ezio's view. Piazza di Spagna. God, it's been a long time since I played Brotherhood. I don't even want to think about how many episodes this is going to take. Because uh, I played this, obviously not recording it. Oh boy, this is going to take a while. It's a big game. Very big game. I wouldn't go on the roofs right now because our extra little objective says that we can't lose or we can't have less than one square, which just means we, we can't get hit during this mission, basically. So we just got to follow these and do it carefully. Oh, well, this is a little boring, actually. I wish I could make it more interesting for you guys, but... The game sort of forces you to do it this way. If you want 100% sync. Which we do. Wait, what did it... What was over here? Oh, I hear a chest. I know where it is. There's whispers. And that's why we don't want to go on the roof. Oh, hello. Uh-oh. Now we gotta kill the guards. So this is where the execution streak comes in. We can counter, and we start doing execution streaks. You generally want to target the people that are flashing, because that's how you do a proper streak. Full synchronization, because we did it properly. You alright, buddy? Oh. That's not alright. She was, until that porco defiled her. I wish he'd just killed her. I wish he'd just killed La Mia Mata. People who saw her grow up cheered when he spat on her. Smiles on their faces when her neck... I understand. How can you? My Livia was innocent. I have lost family to the rope. To treachery. Il Carnefice watches from his home on the hill above. He threatens to hang me if I cut her rope. Kill your target with the hidden blade? Alright, we can do that. When you are ready, take her down. I will deal with your carnefice. Yeah. That's not okay. So our only bonus objective here is to kill him with the hidden blade. We don't need to worry about anything else. Look at this, built right into the rock way. Right, right into the rock face. That's pretty cool, not gonna lie. Nice work down there. Uh, not my best. But it's hard to make art with poor materials. Goodbye, El Carnafice. Doesn't say how with the hidden blade, just to do it. And now we run. I mean, we could kill them all, but there's really no reason to. Oh, 
Oh boy, there's so much to do in this game. Uh, chests and things like that, we are going to basically leave alone. I will do those in streams. I don't think it's particularly interesting to see chests and everything. No reason for it. Besides, we don't necessarily need the money. We don't have a Monteriggioni thing uh, in this game. What we are going to do is we're going to take a look at a couple of things. Because we have new... Like this, for instance. This is something new that we're going to be introduced to. And, uh, yeah, you can renovate areas in Rome. You need money for it, of course. Wait, can we do this one? Oh, yeah, 350 florins. There's going to be stuff like that all over the game. Where you can renovate bits and pieces of Rome. We don't, we're not going to worry about it too much yet. Because it's going to cost a lot of money in the end, but, um... It's not quite the same thing as the Monteregioni... ...stuff. Oops, I'm sorry. Oh, shut up. Oh. There's something up here. Whoa. Don't worry about it. Ah, yeah, okay. I guess I could show the first one that I find, and then we'll move on. So chests, they're just things that you open up. Get money from them. That's pretty much all they are. Wait, but what's the lock on the map? And you can see how much of the city is rebuilt. Oh, God. What is that? Empty faction building. I see, right. Oh, my lord. These are all things that you can upgrade, really. But you can't upgrade these yet. You can only upgrade wells for the time being. And I think aqueducts, I think this is in. Yeah. Oh, boy. We'll get there. Plenty to do in this game. Don't worry. And a lot of it's going to happen during streams, I imagine. I, well, one thing I am curious about. I won't take it if it's here, but last time I looked at this... Yeah, okay, so we have access to these. Oh, uh, requires double hidden blade, shop quest, shop quest. Wait, hold on. Bunch of weapons that we have access to. It's insane how many we have access to, actually. Is this all the things that I unlocked in the first game? We could buy a stiletto, I guess, if we wanted to. We could buy the crossbow. Throwing knives and bullets. We can sell things now. And investments... Uh, you can invest in um, certain shops, but um, yeah, we don't have the money for it. Risk factor low. That's right. Oh, goodness. Investments and everything. There's a lot. The game will explain it to us in a little while. We don't have to do it just yet. So I think for the beginning, we're just going to play this like a normal Assassin's Creed, but it turns into like halfway of strategy game almost. Oh, well, we can uh, invest in this, I guess. Oh, right. Under the... Yeah, we can't actually do it because there's a Borgia Tower keeping this under lock and key. It's kind of a natural extension of uh, looking up or uh, doing the synchronization towers. Ezio, what a surprise to see you here. I thought you had sent for me. Never. News of the villa attack has spread across the city. We were certain that you were dead. Not yet. I am still very much alive. The Borgia must not discover that you escaped them. Throw the Borgia captain into the scaffold to kill him. All right, I'll try it. Follow me. Take care not to draw any undue attention. 
When do I ever? Well, you gonna say anything to me? Or not. This is a very quiet walk. You would be wise to purchase missing equipment. You will not live long in Roma without supplies. I have my blade. My and the guards have their guns, courtesy of the Borgia. Fortunately, I can help you. Grazie. While you are in my debt, perhaps you will listen to reason. As soon as I hear some, I will let you know. Finally crafted well, we can buy a couple things. In fact, we have to. We can get the Roman Spalders. And the other things that were available um, are interesting because they're... Uh, uh, we can invest. No. Not worth it. Basically, we have access to pretty much everything from the first game. I'm not going to buy most of them until much later uh, because a lot of them are really, really good items. So... I feel like it would be cheating to do it ahead of time. Then, now you can survive the journey back to Firenze. Perhaps, but I'm not going to Firenze. Oh. There will be no peace until we rise up against the entire Borgia family and the Templars who serve them. I do not recall such brave talk at Monteregion. How could I have known that they would find me so quickly, that they would kill Mario? Rodrigo surrounds himself with snakes and murders. Even his daughter, Lucrezia, has been sharpened into one of his most artful weapons. But she pales in comparison to the man behind the villa attack. He is ambitious, ruthless, and cruel beyond imagination. The laws of men mean nothing. He murdered his own brother to take power. He knows neither danger nor fatigue. Those who do not fall by his sword clamor to join the ranks. Powerful Orsini and Colonna families have been brought to kneel at his feet, and the King of France stands at his side. Give me his name. Cesare, head of the papal armies. What does he intend to do with his power? What drives the man? That I still do not know. But Ezio, Cesare has set his sights on all of Italia, and at this rate he will have it. Is that admiration I hear in your voice? He knows how to exercise his will. A rare virtue in the world today. Oh, flags make a return in this game. Again, more collectibles that we'll focus on later. I will surely lose my house to wait until the Waiting until the game opens up, because we'll basically get to roam the entire city and like start doing all of the towers and all that stuff. But I'm not gonna spend episodes on it. More whispers. Hmm. I am so embarrassed. I borrowed these horses. Should we not travel by horse? Roma is quite large. As Cesare's conquests in Romagna continue to succeed and the Borgia grow in power, they have taken desirable areas of the city for themselves. We cannot use the stables here. Oh. The will of the Borgia is law now. What are you implying, Ezio? Do not play dumb with me, Machiavelli. Do you have some kind of plan? I am improvising. All right, so... This is not a great area to be. We need to kill the captain here. Oh, hello. Okay, we need to switch to that. Okay. Let's just kill all the others. There we go. Okay. So we want to grab 
Nope. God damn it. This is the most annoying part of everything. Come on, come over here, please. You run over to us. There we go. Well, all right, sir. That was not my fault. But we killed him by throwing him in. We can loot them and get money. So that's how these areas go. You have to kill the captain in a certain way. And I am definitely looting all these people. So for the moment, they have things that are worthwhile to us. Okay. Just because you kill a few guards does not mean the people will grant access to the stables. You are right. We need to send a signal. Wait here. All right, here's the real way you send the signal. You kill the captain. You climb the tower. Light it up. Oh, goodness. I remember this being a great game. I'm excited to be playing it again. But man, oh man. <laughs> There's a lot to do here. We can synchronize here, which I should probably do before we jump off. And then I set it on fire. And we come over here. And we can now renovate areas in the stable. So we come over here. And we got full synchronization because we killed them properly. If if you would let me examine. Uh, this one's free. The first one is free for us. So yay. Now I have access to horses. And we get income from Rome. Don't lose any health, huh? Well, easier said than done, depending on what the game does. Can I... Oh, right, it's shift to mount. Can... Machiavelli, please. Yep, so you could just... Go through Rome on horse. You can ride them in cities now. Because people used to do that if they had money. Well, now what? Where are we going, buddy? What are we doing? By the way, you can pretty much stop at any time in the middle of these um, missions to basically roam the city. But we're going to complete the first few. Ooh, there's an eye icon here. You excel at opening wounds, Ezio. But can you also close them? I intend to heal the sickness. Or treated symptoms. We'll do that later. Stop sparring with me. Fine. Let us talk openly then. Rodrigo Borgia's death would not have solved anything. I am inclined to disagree. Look at this city. The center of Borgia and Templar rule. Killing one man will not change things. We need to take away the source of their power. Are you suggesting we appeal to the people? Maybe. Relying on the people is like building on the sand. You are wrong. Our belief in humanity rests at the heart of the Assassin Brotherhood. <laughs> he must be from your inner circle. Go, get back what he has stolen. I will wait at the Campidoglio. I am missing a contact there. Give me back my money! <laughs> Come back here! No, we tackle. Bonk. Get out of here before I regret sparing your life. Yay, full sync. Okay. Now we go over here. We have the basics of what we can do now. If we look at the map, we can see how much of an area we have access to. 
part of me is just like, do we just go and do all the Borgia Towers and all of the viewpoints? We could. That might make for an extremely boring episode. But, like, pretty much everything is open to you from the beginning of the game. I mean, like, seriously, you can go pretty much everywhere. Look at this. Nothing's really out of reach. However, I think we should do a couple of more. Well, you know what? No, let's go do a couple of things. Oh, how do you set a marker? I forget in this game. Is it space? No, it's not space. Let's enter. Yeah, I guess we better get some of these. There's no bonus objectives for half of these, by the way. It's just you do it or you don't. Ooh, right. We may not be able to scale half these buildings yet until we own them either. I think. Because once you start renovating them, they become a little bit bigger and they get extra stuff on them. I think. I don't see anything on this building yet. Are we supposed to get on top of it? Well, we can. There's also an inside to this building. Hmm. So it's a purchasable building, a purchasable landmark. I don't see the mark anywhere. Oh, there's a feather there. Where is the actual... Ah. So landmarks can be bought. And so can, um... You know, useful buildings. Landmarks just basically increase your rent. Or not rent, but... Oh, that's right. I forgot you can access the synchronized more than once. And the most useless ability we have. There's only 24 in this game. But still. I'll checkpoint us after each one. I guess I'll jump off into the hay bale. I don't entirely know where that... Icon is, though. And to buy this building... Oh, we can't yet. Because Borgia Tower. Of course. God, it gets in the way so much. But where is this... Is it in here? It is. So it's right there. Is there a way we can get to it? Oh, we can get into it. Okay. I didn't think we'd be able to do it yet. I guess I should show this off, what this is all about. Something deep in the animus here. You dropped out of the grid. Where were you? Not sure. Some kind of fragmented memory? Maybe you should stop. I'm good. I want to keep going. Loading. 
Oh, okay then. Master Zal, they did not work, but ruled from on high. Oh boy, more of this. And a zoom. Is this supposed to be kings or something? I forget. Or nobility? Anywhere there's people who are working? I guess you don't do. Yeah, nobility. Moving away from the sovereign, he crossed his brow. The people take two steps forward. Pawn to st oh, from the sovereign, from the king. Loading. Okay, I'm increasingly aware of existence. We can no longer rely on the divine right of our aristocracy to maintain control. We need a new system, something much more subtle. Loading. Quarantine zone. Oh, well, it's activated, I guess. Oh. Like a game of hot and cold. Quarantine lifted. I'll put 16's video files here. Hopefully they'll begin to make sense as you free up each file. All right, well, we got one cluster, whatever that means. We know 16 uh, was a little cuckoo. Can't be helped, can it, though? I mean, what do you do in his circumstance? Oh, uh, we can upgrade the tunnel. I don't exactly remember what the tunnels give us. I think we can't really use them much, but we do at least get access to... Or can we go in now? Ah, right. They're fast travel points. That's right. Because Rome is fairly large. Oh, that's cool. Very cool. Although it's the wrong area. Or is it just backwards? No, it's the wrong area. All right. Well, basically, we, we understand what we need to do now for... 90% of the game. Um, I'm probably going to take care of like one or two viewpoints in an episode and then carry on with story because you need to do both in this game to keep ahead. Uh, I do want to go do this tower. God. This does not play well. Alright. Go over here. Get the viewpoint which is also the Borgia Tower. Two and one, you know? Easy peasy. Unfortunately, those flags are like everywhere. I gotta really try and avoid them. Unlike the other games, I believe Brotherhood takes place almost exclusively in Rome. We're not running around between cities. We're really focusing on the one city that we're going to build up and take control over. The difficulty three for the captain, hmm? Well, first things first, we need to find said captain, too. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, come on. Oh, my God, this game. All right, well, that didn't work. Oh, he's over there. We're, why didn't it do that before? Hold on. It didn't tell me where he was. Okay. This is not a great game to play with a uh, mouse and keyboard. It's actually really difficult with mouse and keyboard. 
Hello? Alright, Borgia Captain dead. All of them panic a little bit. They don't know what's going on. And now we climb the tower. You don't actually need to fight anybody. Hello? Jump? Ezio. Oh my god, Ezio, please, just... For once, do what I ask you to do! God, he controls so poorly sometimes. What is going on here? Can you not, sir? Oh my god. I'm gonna die because I'm on the fucking ground and the guy has a crossbow. Alright. Fuck off. Can I not get up here yet? Is that the thing? No, I can. If it'll let me actually grasp on. Yeah, crossbow men suck. Come on, game! Seriously! This is... Insane. I forgot how annoying they are. This is what the beginning of everybody complaining about... Fucking Unity's... Oh my god! Guns! Where you can't do anything. And the AI is just so annoying. God damn it. I think the captain remains dead. No. It'll probably have me redo it all over again. Yep. God, it's so annoying. Alright, let's go kill the Borgia Captain, and then I'll go do it again. Freaking crossbowmen are so annoying. Oh look, there's like 50 people here now. Goodbye. So many of his men just run away now. All right. Now I can climb up without any problem. That's what's supposed to happen after you kill the captain, that everybody's just supposed to not fight you. But that one guy is freaking impossible to dodge crossbow. All right, here we go. By the way, the difficulties are not really... Um, actual difficulties per se they're just like like it's not like it locks you out like if I ran into like a difficulty 5 or whatever it's not going to be impossible to do it's just based on skill level although I think there are some of these that I can't quite go through yet also remember to always synchronize before you explode And now you can buy buildings around here. I think the first thing we want to buy is this bank. So that we can actually get money. Um, yeah, we definitely want a bank somewhere in the city. Because now that we have a bank... We collect income. You can invest in shops to earn greater profit on your next income collection. You also earn shop quest items if you invest enough money. Reminder to invest in shop, you must... Talk to its owner and select the investments option. So you can invest if you want. I, It's not a great idea at the beginning of the game to invest. I mean, like, yeah, you can get money, but yeah. And here's all the different stuff that you can possibly get in the game. There is a lot to unlock. Like, a lot. It's pretty bad. 
with how much there is to do, but that's fine. Oh, that's right, we have a horse now. Um, the more you unlock, the better it is, obviously, but we don't really have a lot of money at the beginning of the game. I was more doing that to get access to the space than anything else. Oh, treasure. Does treasure get marked on your map? No, you need to buy treasure maps. Thankfully, treasure maps are a thing that exists in this game. Uh, we will be buying all of them that we possibly can, but otherwise, just got to do the normal stuff. Go get the last few viewpoints, because I think we've got an idea of how the game works, and next time we're going to like delve into the actual story of this game. Because mechanically, it's fairly simple. I think they wanted to just skip past all the tutorial stuff, so they made the beginning of the game fairly comprehensive in what you need to do, and they're going to stop holding your hand fairly soon. Because it really is about the game. They learned a lot uh, from uh, Assassin's Creed 2. And I think one of my major complaints was just like how much lead up time there is to half the stuff. Like you would walk by something and not be able to do anything with it because it was locked by a story mission. Well here, it's not locked by story missions. It's locked by the Borgia Towers. And you can go do the Borgia Towers at pretty much any time. Like I said, I believe we could go through if we wanted to and take care of literally every tower that we have access to right now. Um, it's not a super good idea at the beginning. Not like it could be taken away from you, mind you. That would be mean. Can you imagine losing a Borgia Tower if you couldn't like defend it or something? Oh, that'd be bad. There is something like that, unfortunately, in the next game. Not entirely the same, but and there's not too much of a downside if you lose the certain minigame or whatever, but there is something like that where you have to defend. It's not my favorite mechanic. Oh, goodness. Can we just climb a tower normally, please? Can, do we not have the up jump? Ooh, there's another eye icon. I don't know if you're looking for something from 16, but last time scanning an eagle vision seemed to help. Yeah, we'll get to it. Unfortunately, they're not usually hidden in the most uh, obvious of places. Oh, it is literally on the tower. Great. Thanks, 16, buddy. You're great. Super helpful. Because we're actually crawling inside of them this time. Alright, number two. I didn't realize we'd be doing two of them, but... They're fun little... Extra... Puzzles. I like puzzles. Yes, I know it's cluster two. Loading. The individual intends to be his only gain, and he is this, in as many other cases, led by an invisible hand to promote an end to which no part of his invention. Loading. Invisible hand. Okay. All right. Well, let's see what the outside is supposed to look like. That looks like ground. Oh, everything's shifted slightly. Oh, you really got to work from the outside in, don't you?
Ah, oh, there we go. By far the greatest part of those goods which are the objects of desire are procured by labor, and they may be multiplied not in one country alone, but in many, almost without any assignable limit, if we are disposed to bestow the labor necessary to attain them. Loading. All right, well, we align to there. Looks like a train station. The great empire has been established for the sole purpose of, of rising up a nation of customers. Can it be very difficult to determine who... I have been the contrivers of this whole mercantile system, not the consumers, we may believe, those interest, whose interest has been entirely neglected, but the producers, whose interest has been so carefully attended to. Loading. Commerce. Okay, there's the first one. Oh, they move together. You want to align these two before you move. Both. I see. Women making computers. Country that makes provision to increase inhabitants. Are, are they making computers? What are they? They're either looming... I don't know. Yeah, no, that would be the start of, like, computers, right? Or maybe phone lines? Or maybe that's mail? I don't know what they're doing, actually. A county, a country who that makes provision to increase in inhabitants, whose situation is good and whose people have a genius, a genius adapted to trade, will never fail to be gainers in the balance, provided the labor and industry of their people be well managed and carefully directed. Lo 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 or IO Loading. The workforce increases right beside their brother. Oh, okay. Loading Quarantine Zone. Wonder if there's anything hidden in this one. Nope. But there's more than one to find. So you gotta find the first one, then find the second within time. Yeah, that helps a lot, Subject 16. But last time, scanning an eagle vision seemed to help. None of this helps. I'm just going to take your stuff. And then I'm going to take this chest. No one can stop me. Ah ha 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 ha. Oh, what is... Oh, is this a landmark or something? What is this? Flag. Oh, we've seen that there's a flag here, so it gets marked, I believe. Or something like that. I don't remember. Anyway... Cleared out a little bit of the city, so I guess next time we're going to start off going for that uh, tower and make our way down towards the memory start. I think that's the best way to do it. Just clear out the towers as we get there, and we're worried about investments and all that later. For now, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!